Ocho, is all well with your soul? Let me urge you to read John chapter 3 and chapter 4 and chapter 5. I want you to contemplate and think about that, what you read there. Because let me tell you, you know, you can sit there and pinpoint out what everyone does in their life that is wrong. You know, these, these hypocrites and, and etc. But they've got to answer to God for their own doings. Just like you got to answer to God for your own doings, I got to. doesn't matter if it's good or bad. You can't earn your way. Your good deeds don't mean nothing. Because then, if that's the case, Jesus came for nothing. You know, he went through all that for nothing. I don't think so. But Jesus did what he did because he loves you. He loves everyone, you know. And there is no other way. And the people who claim they believe in Jesus and say that there's other ways, they call Jesus a liar. Because he said he was the way, the truth. He said that all any other people, all others that ever came from was thieves and liars. You know, and and you're and you're listening to thieves and liars theories and you have adopted it for your own. And you think your own goodness or something, you know, you're not good. You know, you're I mean your 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 so called goodness can't earn you nothing. See, you got it all backwards. Well, people's goodness, okay. A person does good not because he can earn his way in, is when he has found true salvation, when he has accepted Christ in his heart and knows him as his personal savior, when he has been filled, born again of the spirit, you know, and been born again of the water. That's through baptism. When you've been born again, all right, let me just tell you, you cannot earn your way by good deeds. You do good deeds because of what you was given. You was given life. You was given hope. So you did go and do so likewise because it was you was freely given. So give freely to others by sharing the good news. But you cannot enter into heaven by your own merits. No one can. No matter, uh, no Hail Marys, uh, no matter how many times you count a bead, no matter how many you chant Um or Um and, and Obama and all that, you can't get in that way. You cannot go anyway except through Jesus Christ, through Yeshua HaMashiach. You can't go any other way except through Him. All right, and a lot of people will try to think, you know, that, well, my way is best, or I don't want to go there because I don't want to, I don't want to go to church and all this, I don't want to, I've seen all the hypocrites, I don't want to, it's all a bunch of holy buoy and all that, but listen, every one of us is going to stand before God, and you ain't going to change that, you, you're going to have to die one day, we all do, I do, you do, everyone is appointed once to die, but see, after that, see, all these so-called people out there who say they ain't no God, they have no proof. And God has given proof of everything, of who He is, of His greatness. And you have no excuse. But He did love you so much that He sent His Son. So, is all well with your soul. Are you searching and you've been tired and you're hungry and you want more? Quit looking at people and start turning to God. Turn to Jesus. Let Him handle it, your life. But the thing is, right now, you shouldn't be worried about them. You should be concerned about your soul. Think about it. And all you got to do is repent and ask Him to forgive you. And He will if you mean it from your heart, pouring out your whole soul and heart to him, and letting him know how sorry you are, and that's all it takes, is that, that initial step, that move, and I want to tell you, when it comes from the heart, that moves God, he forgives you, and then, you need to be baptized, 
Ask God to fill you with His Holy Spirit. You know, you want to be born of the water and the Spirit, just like John, like Jesus was talking to uh, Nicodemus in chapter 3 about being born of the water and of the Spirit. And let me tell you, a lot of people try to figure out things about being born again, but you can't. It just, I mean, it's one of these wonderful experiences. But you need Jesus. You need, you need life. It's all well with your soul. Because you can point and claim everybody else's, you know, they're, what they've done. And what you've seen do is the reason why you don't live for God. But that's not going to stand up for God. Because when you die without Him, you go to the holding place, which is hell. You'll be held there in torment until, until that great day, the great white throne judgment. You'll go to one or two places when you die. If you have, if your heart is right with God, you'll go to be with Jesus. But if it ain't, I'm going to say this, you don't want to go to that one place. Oh no. But I'm asking you, is it all well with your soul? Think about it. So I hope that you'll make the right decision in your life. I can't make you, no one can make you. You gotta make that choice yourself because you're given two choices. We are life or death. This is what is offered to us. Jesus offers this. God had offered this to us. All through the Bible, through the Old Testament and into the New. You know, you're given a choice. Life or death. Obedience or disobedience. It's your choice. But when you make the wrong choice, you can't blame God for it. But a lot of people do. So which choice are you making? Life or death. The left road or the right road your choice think about it it's all well with your soul shalom and hope